What's going on, all my billionaires out there? This the guy who is billionaire. Welcome to Who's Billionaire TV. Big favor, big abundance. On today's episode, we got Book Club Sundays. Book Club Sundays. And on today's Book Club Sunday, we are going to be going over the book Homeless to Billionaire by Andres Pera. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, so in this book, uh, which is a really, really good read, really good. Like I said, I do audio books, so I, I listen to this book several times. It's a really good book. Um, Andres Pera, who is a billionaire from Thailand, um, pretty much just goes over like his life story and um, all of the things that he went through along his journey um, and some of his mentors and some of the people that he began to follow. Um, and things of that nature. Um, but he just talks about how he was in Thailand. He was, you know, working a little different odd jobs, you know what I'm saying? And and just, you know, was working to have somewhere to stay and, and you know, stuff like that. Was getting into some street shit, you know what I'm saying? Getting into some street shit, you know what I'm saying? He was kind of lost, like trying to find his way. And, um, you know, life events kind of made him like change his path and his outlook. You know what I'm saying? And then um, kind of was in, uh, in tech, got in telemarketing. Um, and then in telemarketing, kind of just started discovering different ways. Um, you know, people people get money and people, different ways that, that money came to people. So started like studying different billionaire, you know, mentors um, and started to build his company and find find a way to build his company. Um, then he also talks about like vibrational giving, um, the art of vibrational giving, um, uh, which he was saying like, because you have to give back. He was saying that, you know, you want to feel good when you give back, you want to code giving back, you know, giving back with a vibration of feeling good. You know what I'm saying? When you do something for somebody, because that's the vibration that you want to come back to you times 10 and just, just talking about universal law. You know what I'm saying? What you put out is what you get back. Um, and it's just, you know, a lot of different good principles and goes over a lot of principles, financial principles of, of billionaires that he, he looks up to and, and, and mentors that he looks up to. So it's really a good book if you want to listen to somebody who literally did come from nothing in Thailand on top of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? This guy literally came from nothing. Look him up. Andres Pera came from nothing literally the bottom nobody gave him shit he ain't come from no family or money or none of that and this guy ascended all the way to being a billionaire you feel what i'm saying and and, and just stayed on his path and, and stayed true to his beliefs and found the right people to look towards you know what i'm saying so for guidance so i definitely recommend it man homeless to billionaire um this is a great book great read um you guys should check it out Definitely, and um, you know, over here at Hoods being their TV, you know, uh, I'm gonna give you guys the origin of my name. Like Hoods, niggas been calling me Hoods since high school because I moved around a lot. You know what I'm saying? I was always in different niggas' hoods, so it's like the Hoods name just stick. And I used to rap in high school, so it's like Hoods always just stuck with me. And then I threw the billionaire on there as I got older, and my my view of the world changed. My view of business changed. My view of, of, you know, where I see myself change, my financial, uh, you know, overview on life change. And, you know, I started, you know, to realize like, hey, like, you know, you got to you got to tighten up and go up, you know, pretty much a completely different life path than the one that I was on. You know, if you aspire to be, you know, what you want to be. So the hood's billionaire is just a representation of you staying true to who you are. Stand true to the culture that you were reared in, but also being intellectually savvy and business savvy, you know, to become whatever it is that you want to become on a financial, from a financial standpoint and from a legacy standpoint. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's okay to be a, you know, whatever y'all want to call it, quote unquote, street nigga, quote unquote, hood nigga, quote unquote, real nigga. It's okay to be all that and still be an intelligent human being. You feel what I'm saying? And conduct business the right way. It's okay to stay true to the culture and conduct business the right way. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's okay. As a matter of fact, it's smiled upon. You feel what I'm saying? So check out that homeless to be in there, man. 
just the godhoods being there. Big favor, big abundance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Just the godhoods being there. Big favor, big abundance. I'm gone.